What's wrong, Hamilton? Nothing's wrong. I just wanted to talk to you. Not all choices we make are right, but they're necessary to make a change. I was young, innocent, free of any guilt. And then my parents died. And I went to live with Michael, George Peters. And George wasn't the best adult influence. He always had women, lots of women, men in dark suits around the house. But I was always taken care of. I was a soldier to my uncle. I did the dirty work, selling cheap drugs to my fellow high schoolers. And then when he felt I was ready, when I was 23, I started selling the big things. All right, you know the plan. If something goes bad, make sure you give us a code word so we know. Got it. I have products. You have money. 11 million just has it set. Excellent. It's been a pleasure doing business. I hope we can do this again sometime. Hey, you let your smokes. Yeah, Frank, go ahead and get them. George Peters speaking. George, they have me. What have you told them? Nothing yet, but I'm about to tell them everything. This is for me, George. Mr. Peters. If you will be willing to furnish us with the names of the individuals to whom you've sold narcotics, we might be able to I'll tell you anything, but only on my terms. I'm afraid that's not how it works. Listen, I know you need information I have on the American cartel. You haven't caught any of us in years. You've reached a dead end. I'll tell you anything and everything if you give me witness protection. Why would he give you that? Because I'm your last shot at stopping the cartel. Because my family will hunt me down. They'll kill me. And your last shot at stopping the cartel will be gone. Why would you tell us? Because this is my chance to escape. Escape this life. And I just kept running from everyone, everything from who I used to be. You know, it wasn't until I stopped that I found some sort of peace. You know, I had a clean slate. Why wasn't I using it? And that's when we started dating and in marriage. I guess you never thought you'd be gained in this mess. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. So I did it. I escaped from Lewis Peters. And I became Hamilton Reynolds the head of the financial division at Fitzhu International. And that's when my uncle found me. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Mr. Reynolds, 3 o'clock. All right, I'll show you right to the conference room. Follow me. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll be here with you shortly. Mr. Reynolds, your 3 o'clock appointment is in the conference 
I'm waiting for you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Quite. It's nice to see you again, Lewis. What are you doing? How did you find me? It's not that hard to find a financial officer if it's you international. Especially one who just cleared 14 million last year. What do you want from me? It's time that you come back. Lewis. Don't call me that. That's not my name. That's not who I am. I'm Hamilton Reynolds. Lewis Peters will always be your name. The family needs you. I can never go back to that life. I thought you'd say that. Stop. What are you doing? <laughs>— Why did you kill him? — It was only a letter. — I didn't know. I thought he was going to kill me. I didn't know it was a letter. I, it just wasn't... it wasn't just any letter. Somehow, George got a pardon for our entire family and their involvement in the cartel. I never got the chance to thank him for it. So that's why I have to go. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I hope you can forgive me.